Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just kicked the Dancing Avon Lady and today uh, it's another episode of What's for Dinner? So I'm actually, this is going to be a two-part video um, because I am filming two different uh, dishes that I'm going to make, but I think that if I combine into one, it'll just be way too long. The dish that I'm going to show you guys right now will be a steamed chicken dish. It's a kind of, I think it's pretty traditional. It's like steamed chicken with lap chow, which is a Chinese sausage, and red dates. These are super, it's super yummy. It's a bit kind of like a play on sweet and savory. Um, and it's very, uh, in Chinese we call it ching. So it's like a, it's, it's a very, um, it's a very simple dish and it's, it's, it's relatively healthy, I think. The ingredients list is pretty simple. Um, all there is, is you need, I'm going to use two chicken breasts. You can even use chicken thigh meat if you want to, but it has to be deboned and skinless. And then you use some lap chow here. We try to get the chicken mix one so that it's a little bit less fatty. And then the other thing we do is the dates and then some seasoning. So the seasoning I want to use today will be some ginger powder, some salt, soy sauce, sesame oil, and a little bit of cornstarch and probably something else. Oh, pepper. To prep the fix is quite simple. I just buy them in a bag like this, um, and this was full, uh, and these are dried ones. I bought them, um, I can't remember where, but you get them probably at most gro Chinese grocery stores. A bag like this is like 15 bucks and lasts you forever. It's really good in different types of like sweet soups or just even regular soups, like if you make a papaya soup, like the papaya soup that I made, you can always add some of that in there. Um, but it's, it's yummy and I think it's, it's pretty good for you too. So to prep them all I did, I gave them a quick rinse and then I just use a pair of scissors, right? I just use a pair of scissors and then I just cut it. Oh, it goes fly like that. So just snip it like that and then there's a little pit inside, so I take that out and then I just cut it up into smaller pieces. And so they end up like this, little tiny pieces. I think I did like maybe eight, eight dates. You don't need a huge amount. You, you can add more if you want. Um, I'm also pretty sure these are pretty high, high in fiber. <laughs> So next is the lap chow. So these are, um, it's a Chinese sausage, it's kind of like a preserved dry sausage. I just give it a quick rinse and then I just dice it actually in really small pieces so I can mix it in to the uh, steamed chicken combo. So these are raw, so you do have to cook them. For the chicken breasts, I'm going to slice them up into little pieces. A lot of the times I like to, when I, when I need to slice, my uh, chicken breast or my uh, thighs and I want it more evenly, I actually leave it slightly frozen. I just find it a lot easier to cut. So now we're gonna start marinating the meat and it's a very quick marinated. I already put in the uh, the, the Chinese sausages, the lap chow at the bottom here. And so I'm gonna mix it up a little bit first just so I can get a little bit of the even meat distribution. Remember the lap chow is a little bit sweet and savory. So you have to adjust the amount of sodium that you put in this, um, due to that. Okay, so what we're going to use is we're gonna put in just a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of pepper, touch of ground ginger, a little bit of onion powder, a pinch of salt, and then I'm gonna mix it again before I put in my wet ingredients. So now, I'm going to incorporate the dates. I'm going to leave a couple for the top. Mix it again. And now I'm going to add in my wet ingredients. So I'm going to put, it's very simple, just a little bit of light soy sauce and some sesame oil. Oh yeah, baby! It smells amazing. You just mix, 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 mix. And you want to even it out as much as possible. So it's as flat of a surface as possible. So it cooks relatively evenly. And then I'm just going to put the remainder of the dates. While I have the meat over there marinating, what you do is you fill a pan that you know that you can fit the, uh, the, the steaming vessel. You put an a little steaming rack here and you just want to make sure that the water level is 
just skimming the top here and then you let it come to a boil. All right, and then I just plop it on. All right, like that. In the middle, take the lid, cover it, and it will cook. Um, I can't remember exactly how long I cook it for, but I know it, I usually check it at probably, after it comes to a boil, about like eight to 10 minutes, and I just check to see if the middle is cooked, because the middle, if it's cooked, I think it's usually pretty good. But I tend to, like for poultry, I tend to overcook it. Um, just, I don't want anyone to get sick. All right, it's been another couple of minutes. Let's test this baby again. Okay, it feels harder now. Should be good. Yep. All right, this is done. Woo! Taste test time. I can't taste test that, but I'll taste test this. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is my what steamed chicken dish with red dates and lap chum. Oh, so yummy, so yummy. And these are all natural juices that came out. And well, I guess some of the steam. So let's try this. Mmm, oh, it smells good. Hot, hot, hot. Mmm. 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 Oh, it's really good. It's really good. So, it's a very natural chicken taste. So the chicken breast is like nice and firm. And then you get the squishiness from the dates, and so and you, when you eat into one of the dates, you get that little burst of sweetness, and then you have the savoriness from the soy sauce that I put in, the salt, little hint of ginger, and then when you add the lap you get a little burst of fat. <laughs> and it's so tasty, it's so good. And the taste of lap is very unique, so it's really yummy. And then the sauce on rice, and in Chinese I say, tap lo fan, and like, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Are you hungry? Yeah, you want to taste a little bit? She calls the jup soup. Try, try. <gasps> hi, say hi. Hi. Say, what's for dinner? Soup. Soup. Ready? Um. Is it that yummy? Yeah? Yummy? Does mommy get a thumbs up? Give me a thumbs up. Yeah. So now you can listen to Ginevra. If you guys enjoyed this cooking video, please do give us a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new to our channel, please do consider subscribing and clicking that little bell icon beside it so you never miss, uh, miss, never miss a notification of one of my new videos. Until next time, guys. See you later, guys. Say bye. bye. Mwah.